all 34 artificially inflated from misdemeanor counts. Well, first of all, this pretty much is going to cement into reality that this is all going to end in blood. This is Banana Republic yeah, bullshit. It's going to end in blood. And what's ironic, there's three major things wrong with this. One, none of these are actually felonies. They're all artificially upgraded from misdemeanors just because it's Trump. Two, they failed to actually prove that any crime was actually committed. The only crime we know was committed was by the prosecution's star witness, Michael Cohen, who admitted to embezzling over $30,000 from the Trump Foundation. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm, let's be honest. Once you embezzle once, you do it multiple times. So if they dig into his ass, it's probably more. Yeah. And three, this is going to have the exact opposite effect that the Uniparty will hope it has. Because every single step so far, more indictments, more popularity. Now he's been convicted. He's going to be more popular than ever. In fact, he's going to get even more of the black vote. And we know that from experience here living around Detroit, because after Kwame Kilpatrick was found guilty of I don't, ripping off I don't know how many of his constituents, they were like, oh, I'll vote for him again. It was the entire city. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and why he was released, be I, fine. I have no idea. Um, I, I'm kind of hoping that uh, old Kwame, uh, you know, trips and falls and has a horrific uh, injury when he falls down the stairs. Oh, no shit. Uh, Jimmy Bones with a little piece of breaking news in the chat. He said, apparently Trump's donation site crashed from all the activity after the verdict was announced. Wow. That's, a, that's <laughs> awesome. That's but, awesome. Well, I'm, I'll, I'll, I'm going to send him some money. Yeah. Uh, congratulations to the Uniparty. You just reelected your biggest enemy. Well, well here's the thing. <laughs> no, I am not a 100% Trump supporter. Oh, I no. am 100% behind the fact that we should be able to elect whoever the fuck we want you who's ain't qualified. Kidding. Having these candidates basically artificially propped up held up by the Uniparty needs to come to a fucking end because they're going to crash our economy. They've already treated the entire Western world like a bunch of fucking guinea pigs yep. with the whole coof shot craziness. Uh. And it's coming out now. It's coming out. Strokes, heart attack, nerve problems, we're super getting, cancers. We're getting emails every single day yeah. with new research. Well, yes. Just wait till they nationalize every aspect of our infrastructure and industry. Yay. Well, first of all, um, this is only going to be allowed to get, you know, so much worse. There, there's a limit to when people say, fuck this. Oh, yeah. All it's, right. it's not going to go well. And I, I, like, I, first of all, I was, I knew that he was going to be found guilty, but I was holding out hope that it would be a hung jury. Uh, but apparently, and, and it, it's not. And there was like 55 pages worth of instructions, which, you know, are not going to be released to the public. Hey, if you if you have a copy of that, email them to me. We'll, we'll do a whole fucking show on it. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. This is this is insane. My personal favorite thing about the Trump verdict was when the judge flat just came right out and just threw the Constitution out the window. Well, the jurors don't all have to agree for me to find him guilty. Yeah, you just split it up yeah, three ways. Yeah, no big gonna, deal. That is not how a jury fuck? trial works. That should have been mistrial immediately as soon as that announcement was made. Well, that, well this is what's going to take place. Holy shit. This is what's going to take place. This is going to wind up in a huge amount of bloodshed. If the right side wins, we're going to have to revamp this whole fucking legal system because we cannot have judges, prosecutors, lawmakers completely immune from the consequences of violating the ultimate yep. law of this country, yep. which is the Constitution. And essentially legislating from the bench, which yes. is what Merchand has done by basically by doing what he's done. Like, I know we already know that this I mean, what are they going to do? Throw them in Rikers? He needs, like, by law, he has to have a Secret Service detail 24-7, 365. Yeah. You're going to imprison the Secret Service along with him? Do you have any idea how much you would boost his popularity by doing something that drastically stupid? I know, but... <laughs> He's going to capitalize on this for sure. Of course, yeah. I, I mean, And that's smart. That just goes to show how resilient he is and what he can do to turn things around. Well, the well, mugshot became an overnight sensation. What do you think will happen if they actually not, put him in cuffs? He could not have bought a better influential campaign no on his kidding. own because we are seeing firsthand the corruption that is taking place within our very country oh yeah just about every guy see what just happened to trump 
it's almost like what every little guy quote unquote would experience like in a traffic court. That's so exactly why That's I it. think it's it's backfiring. Yeah, on them because so badly. it's like, oh, you got railroaded. I remember a fucking parking ticket where that shit got fucked with me on. Yeah. too. Meanwhile, the two people holding the two highest offices of this land are responsible for either either enacting the legislation or twisting it beyond the boundaries of anything potentially legal for keeping people behind bars for nonviolent offenses, sometimes for life. Yeah. Those people got railroaded. Trump's getting railroaded. Anybody yeah. who has had to deal with this bureaucratic bullshit knows they're being railroaded. Listen, and now we can all see it. I'm going to tell you right now, if this, if I wind up running the show, this is exactly what I would do. All right. I would, I would secure, I make sure everything is good to go. The violence is stopped. And then I would basically uh, assemble a master list of individuals in this country who will not receive police help, firefighter help, EMS help, nothing. All of the judges that have ever served from 1980 up till, to till the time that the violence ends, defense attorneys, prosecutors, and they would have, and I'm not going to go after them. But and they they will still have their Second Amendment rights, but then you, they have to contend with all the people they fucked over over the years. Yeah, all right, and because this, this is just fucking wrong, man. It's wronger than two boys fornicate. Yeah, and, you this, know what? What are those things they're they call maybe like on the verge of karma? Well, I don't know. I don't. We had a guy on the show who spent five years in Wayne County without a trial. Was basically denied any defense by the judge he is now in federal lockup fighting from within that whole system and hopefully he can he can work something out but uh you know th this is this is gonna listen if you have a country that doesn't trust the, the law enforcement the people who make the laws they, they don't fuck it's utter fucking chaos that's exactly what what's going to take place especially if they crash the dollar yeah holy shit yeah yeah g good luck trying to confiscate all the guns if that happens mm. <laughs> it's not going to work out too well for you well and, and at the end of the day the uniparty is always telling you what they're doing or at least what their intentions are correct because it's always the exact polar opposite of what they claim like the patriot act yeah the most unpatriotic thing known to man <laughs> affordable care act made everything completely out of reach people are now broke. they're trying to save our democracy yeah I got we it. all know what that means yeah but yeah. we're not a democracy anyway no but so we'll I just say we'll know. just say this they're trying to save the country if they always do the polar opposite you know what the goal is yeah i got gotcha. you watch grunt speak live every tuesday and thursday at 8 p.m eastern and if you want to join pop for supporter sundays go to redonkulous.com slash donate and make a monthly pledge. A link is in the meat gazer box.